a rather nice day. A day for a glorious wedding. A rehearsal, my dear, to be perfectly clear. A rehearsal for a glorious wedding. Assuming nothing happens that we don't really know. That nothing unexpected interferes with the show. And, and that's, that's why everything, every, every last little thing, thing every, every single tiny microscopic, microscopic little thing must go. According to plan. Our son will be married. According to plan. Our family carry it. Elevated to, to the heights of society. society. To the costume ball. In the house. Hallowed halls. Rubbing elbows with the highness. Uh, having trumpets with her highness. We'll be there, we'll be seen, having tea with the queen. We'll forget everything that we've ever, ever been. Fish merchants. It's a terrible day. No, don't be that way. It's a terrible day for a wedding. It's a sad, sad state of affairs we're in. That has led to this ominous wedding. How could our family have come to this? To, to marry, marry off our, our daughter, daughter to, to the nouveau riche. riche? They're so common. So coarse. Oh, it couldn't be worse. Couldn't be worse? I'm afraid I disagree. There could be land rich bankrupt aristocracy without a penny to their name, just like you and me. Oh, dear. And that's why everything, every last little thing, every single tiny microscopic little thing must go. Our daughter will wed. According to plan. A family led from the depths of deepest poverty. To the noble realm of our ancestry. And, and who would have guessed in a million years, years that our daughter with the face of an altar in disgrace would provide our tickets to our rightful place? Hildegard, what if Victor and I don't like each other? <laughs> As if that has anything to do with marriage. Do you suppose your father and I like each other? Surely you must. A little. Of, of course, course not. Get those corsets laced properly. I can hear you speak without gasping. Certainly hooked the winner this time, Victor. Now all you have to do is reel her in. I'm already reeling, Mother. Shouldn't Victoria Everglot be marrying a lord or something? Oh, nonsense. We're every bit as good as the Everglots. I always knew I deserved better than a fish merchant's life. But I've never even spoken to her. Well, at least we have that in our favour. <laughs> May you silence that blasted coughing! Marriage is a partnership, a little tit-for-tat. You'd think a lifetime watching us might have taught her that. Might have taught her that. Everything must be perfect. Everything must be perfect. Everything must be perfect, perfect. That's why everything, every last little thing, every single tiny microscopic little thing must go. According to plan.